Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. So tomorrow is the first day of school. So today we're busy doing hair. I, um, yesterday I got their backpacks ready. I got their pencil box ready. So now, come here Cameron. Cameron got his hair cut. Let me see how it looks today. So for him, I normally just, um, he goes to the barber to get his hair cut. And then we go ahead and we use our Normally, I use a foam because his hair is so thick that if I use just like a regular spray bottle, it doesn't really break it down. So, normally, I start so off. Yeah, so, with him, I normally start off with the foam or better known as mousse from Miel. And then I go in with the curl refresher and then I use the sponge just to give him some texture. And y'all know that look. But, yeah, he got his little lineup and haircut yesterday. So he's going to the third grade. I'm going to do my hair because I want to look cute too tomorrow so I could take some pictures with the boys. Um, so what else? So today we're doing hair, picking out their outfits, and I think that's about it. Got to make sure they get to bed early because they're still kind of on that summer nighttime schedule where they want to go to bed like as late as possible. So that's about it, you guys. Um, as far as today goes, I'm going to do a perfume haul later because how many of those two perfume See the white one. Right there? I have a lot to show you guys, but I'm going to show you guys a little preview right now. This has to be the smallest sampler ever, but mind you, um, they had a lot of high reviews on this perfume. Um, how do I say it? Mason Francis. Conjurkin. I don't know if I'm saying I'm, I'm slaughtering that name, but basically the Baccarat Rouge 540. That's what I have been wanting to try for forever. Um, you know, our girl Peyton Charles, she always rants about that fragrance. The fragrance, the bottle is like three to six hundred dollars for like a regular size bottle of perfume. So I went ahead and I got the sampler pack. I know it smells good, but I figure at least if I got the sampler, I'm able to smell it before committing to it. And nine times out of 10, I'm gonna love it. And I also got the Versace sampler pack. Um, I think, what were they calling these? They were calling these a fragrant fantasy. What did they call them? Oh, perfume discovery. I think, I think that's what it's called. When you buy these sampler packs, I think it's called a perfume discovery kit. But nevertheless, I have these that I wanna show you guys as well as some other full bottles of perfume. So hopefully I get that out um, tomorrow. And then I'm going to, if I get some time, I'm gonna do my perfume review and I guess that could come out tomorrow. All right, guys. I just want to check in. I told you guys I'm trying to I'm trying to get back into checking in with you guys and seeing what's up. And it's literally like starting from scratch. I swear. You know how that goes. If you don't stay stay in the game, people kind of forget all about you. But I'm trying to be way more consistent with my posting. So here it is raw and uncut no makeup no nothing but i'm going to be doing my hair as well like i just said so um i will see you guys in a minute bye okay you guys so i figured um i might as well show you guys my latest purchase from gold diggers and let's see what i have Ooh, confetti party so I told myself that normally when I fall in love with something, I just buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. But I told you guys in yesterday's video that I have bought at this point a handful of crystals. So I think I'm about done. I think I have maybe like one or two more orders showing up from um, Enchanting Earth and then Loving Thy Rocks and of course the gold diggers but i think i'm gonna be done because i have a and these are only like some of my bracelets i have a plethora of beads and this cute little ceiling sailor night tower um so yeah i have a plethora of 
stones at this point. So I think I'm going to just kind of fall back and take it easy because my husband was like, how many more rocks do you need? I swear I crack up every time he calls them rocks. So this one is the Moss Agate Spear. This one is really pretty. Do you guys see like the shades of lavender? Let me get my window open. Can you see it better? Look at the shades of lavender. Lavender in there are so pretty. Ooh, and then my peach moonstone palm. My peach moonstone palm, as they call it. Okay, this is a little bit, um, no, it's pretty. I can see the little, the colors, the flash, as they say. Okay, so that's cute. Let's see what else do I have in this one. And that's the thing. I've been ordering so much, I don't even know what I have. Okay, so this is another moss agate. Um, point this one's pretty too no I'm sorry I'm sorry not moss agate not moss agate these are both flower agate flower agate okay and this is the flower agate point super pretty I don't even remember ordering that to be honest okay I got two more packages to show you guys oh these are smaller than I thought they were gonna be What's this? These are so small. Okay, so this one is the peach, a peach moonstone um, fauceted bracelet. And then this one is the, which one was this one? I think this is like the fluorite, fluorite bracelet. Okay, so what I did do, because sometimes the bracelets, I wear nails, sometimes the bracelets are hard to put on. I went ahead and I bought these connectors from Amazon. It was under 10 bucks. I think it was like seven bucks. Um, and this one right here is two bracelets that I put together. I figured I might as well just put it together. So um, I really just wear it like this. I just put it around. And they're like so much easier to put on now that I bought the connectors. But yeah, so these ones are a lot more daintier than I thought they were gonna be. And that's why I said I gotta stop buying so much stuff because I'm just buying stuff that I don't even need to buy. Um, but yeah, so Peach Moonstone, fauceted Peach Moonstone. And I think this was the um, fluorite bracelet. Okay, and is that it? Oh, I think I have one more thing right here one more piece oh another tiny tiny little item so this is uh, my aquamarine butterfly let me show you guys this and then I'm gonna go um, get to my stuff I gotta do today the tiniest butterfly ever but she's so cute she's so cute all right guys so that is my unboxing from gold digger traders um i do love these i wish i would have ordered the larger one because this one was 13 dollars but i thought i had one all right guys so here's my complete order um and actually i called this one the peach moonstone bracelet but this is actually rotocrosite this is a rotocrosite fauceted bracelet in actuality very high quality beads but they're just on the tinier side it's crazy because these little rocks as hubby calls them are super expensive oh I might as well show you my other ones okay so I have been loving peridot and I was supposed to go to a luau I actually didn't go to the luau I actually end up going to um my mother-in-law's birthday party instead but i had a really cute outfit which is right here <laughs> the dress is right here um i was gonna wear this cute little dress with my cute little ring set but i've been making some changes and i've been like putting family first because i used to be like I don't know like I was putting my friends first for a lot of things and look at it now those same friends that I was putting first they're nowhere in sight but that is a video and a story for another day 
But I do just want to say real quick, since I brought it up, that never again, um, and it's crazy how the people who you think will have your back and you're going to be life friends and godmothers to people's kids and you turn around later and it's like, where are they? And I was the kind of friend that they could call me any time or day or night and I would be there. I've babysitted people's kids. I've picked up people's kids from school. I just opened up my house, let people spend the night. And all for what? All for what? We're not even friends anymore. It's just, it's sad. And it's just one of those things that I definitely teach my boys since they're coming to, you know, coming of age to have friends and want to hang out and things like that. To always put your core first. I remember getting into so many arguments with my husband because he would feel, I didn't believe I was doing that, but he would feel that I was putting my friends first. Um, and for me, I am a stay at home mom of four. Um, so I don't have a nine to five. Like my job is to be available to the children um, and to him. So when I started hanging out with the girls, that was my sense of, um, you know, just like having adult conversation, if nothing else, and just getting out the house, having a few hours of fun. So he would feel like I would put my friends first. I, like I said, I don't agree that I really ever did that, but that was his feeling on the situation. And then months later, I mean, we, we were friends for, for several, several years. Sometimes bumps in the road would happen where we wouldn't speak. But as it is right now, I don't talk to any of them. And like I said, the depths of that, I could talk about that in a later video. But the most important thing that I'm trying to say right now is to just put your core first. And typically, it's going to be your children and your spouse and, you know, your parents, if you have that. And basically, family. But sometimes, you don't have a lot of family. So, I understand where, for me, where that came in. And, like, my family on my side is kind of, like, far and distant. So, my friends did become like a family to me like a sisterhood so it was kind of painful once the friendship started breaking down but if people show you that you're not important to them time and time and time again then obviously that dissolution of the relationship is for the best that don't matter if it's friends or a relationship with a you know real relationship so with all of that being said, I will come back later. I'm going to be doing Desmond's hair in a few minutes. Just waiting for him to finish breakfast. So, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. All right, guys. So, I am back with another one. I know y'all like every time she come on, it's a different kid. Well, I have Desmond here, and I'm about to do his finger twist. Um, he's going to the fifth grade tomorrow. His hair is softer than Cameron's, but they're all pretty tender-headed. So with him, I just pretty much start off with um, saturating his hair with water. And then to do his twist, um, I use the jam product. But what do I use? Hold on. So yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll use this jam product. Pretty much I'll part the hair, then I'll take the jam and I'll spread that along the parting and then I'll just start twisting it with the comb and it's good to go. Now his hair is not locked, so it's not gonna stay like this forever. Typically, um, I'll have to do, redo his hair now that he's back in school once a week. So I'm thinking between Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, actually not Friday. Between Saturday and Sunday, I'll have to retwist his hair so he'll be nice and fresh for Monday each week. And y'all know he's a fifth grader, so he wants to be making sure he's nice and put together. But yes, you guys, I'm about to be doing this hair like I told you guys all day. And I didn't even eat breakfast. I said I was about to go eat and I did not. So my stomach is growling. I'm probably going to get me a um, 
I have like a banana nut muffin. I'll probably get that and some OJ and call it a day. But I will come back when I kind of start working through his hair so you guys could kind of see how it looks. All right, toodles. All right, you guys. Mama is working through. I have about three more rows and then it's going to be on to something else. So um, what I'm going to do to make sure his hair holds, I'm going to do a little bit of hairspray just to make sure that it's really, really um, locked in because, you know, he's going to be going to basketball practice, taking a shower. So I want to make sure that his hair is locked in there. So, yes. Yeah, so I know you guys see a little bit of the um, residue here. But once I go ahead and put the hairspray on there as well as um, it starts to dry, that'll go ahead and disappear. But he's almost done. Almost done. All right, so I'll show you guys the finishing effects in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so I am done with Desmond's hair. I'm going to put some of this holding spray on here, like I said, just to make sure that it's really, really locked in. He actually has basketball practice today, so I'm like, ugh. I don't want it to, like, start to unravel. All right, so he should be good to go. Um, I do have my... um my oil sheen from Care Care but for some reason the nozzle is not working so I don't think it's gonna come out and I'm mad because it's really like a lot of product left in here see it's not really trying to come out Ugh. I wonder can I call customer service and see if they could like I don't know turn around nope it's not coming out at all but this is the finished product of mr desmond big big fifth grader so yeah um i'll come back tomorrow and i'll show you guys their first day of school outfits and period <laughs> So, okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys are once again enjoying your Tuesday. Hope you guys are being super productive. And I got to go get myself done so I could be cute for tomorrow, too. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Bye. I can keep a secret, kid. Yeah. Got my mind.